Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. So I looked up a Clopin set on Wikipedia, and it's a whole bunch of words that I don't get because I work retail. I don't understand them either. (laughs) Uh, A set is closed if its complement is open, which leaves the possibility of an open set whose complement is also open, making both sets both open and closed and therefore Clopin. No. What? No. A Clopin (laughs) is when you close the store, restaurant, whatever you work Mm -hmm. at, and you come back and open it again. Yeah. That is a Clopin. Yeah. Yeah. So you so now I think there's some rule that you're supposed to have like 10 hours in between, but I've never had a clopin with 10 hours I in think, between. I think Illinois law is eight hours. <laughs> I could be wrong. I mean, I'm lucky, you know, if you get six, maybe four hours of yeah. sleep with that. So all I know is that every time I walked in on the opening part after a clopin, people would say, "Woo, you look tired. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Because I was here all night. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for letting me know I look like crap. I think we've known each other for about 10 years now, yeah. right? Right. I think I started in 2011. We started working at the same place together. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you walked in one day and like took over and I was more than happy. <laughs> Someone stepped up to the plate. You know, what's really neat. I, uh, I, I didn't have a job at the time and I looked around and I thought, man, all these people have been here for 10 years. They're all, I don't know how long the store was open, but yeah, probably, probably about, no, not that long, but and I asked someone there, I said, you know what? It's always the same people here. You guys must love it here. I said, do you ever hire? And she said, yeah, there's a hiring fair tomorrow. I walked in, that was it. Walked in and got the job. Yeah, three interviews later yeah. and that was it. I was on the register. Yeah, so. I actually, I uh, had a friend that was working there that was pregnant and she said, hey, if you're looking for a job, they're looking to replace me. So wow. I kind of got the same thing, you know? And where did you start? I, I started as a cashier and I actually got written up in my first week. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then I worked there for 10 years after that. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I yeah. started as a cashier too, as part-time, and then they kept calling me. Yeah. Because I had open exactly. availability. Exactly. Because anybody who's worked retail knows they like to change a schedule. Yeah. They like to call you on your day off. God forbid you get 12 hours of your own mind without beeping going on. Yeah. You know? I remember dreaming of the beeps. Oh, yeah. People and would ask me if I dreamed of the beeps. No, I never dreamt of the beeps. I, I was, once I left, the beeps were gone. Really? Yeah. I mean, I would wake up in the middle of the night telling people how much they owed me. <laughs> You're like, boop, boop, 2356. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But um, my main thing in my 10 years, so really. <laughs> Retail career, career. There you my go. My career, my whole life career. Really, I've put years of customer yeah. service. Yeah. I was a waitress. I was a bartender. Then I started cashiering. So, yeah. and I spent most of my time there. And customer service. You know, service, and it's the so. perfect job for someone like you. But yeah. you're so personable. Yeah. You know, you can walk into a room and just make friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't matter where you go. I'm just really loud and obnoxious. Okay, so I'm going to talk to the Golden Girls for a second. <laughs> we love the Golden Girls. We love the Golden Girls. So there's an episode that I just saw last week that reminded me of Cassandra. <laughs> and Blanche walks into a bar and she says, hi, guys. And everyone says, hey, Blanche. <laughs> that of is course you. it's Blanche. <laughs> I'm not a hoe, but that is, <laughs> that is absolutely. You walk into yes. the room, they're like, "What up?" Yeah. They all know you. They know your family. They know what you're doing. Yeah. You know, all well, this kind that's of what stuff. happens when you never leave the county. Yeah, you're basically yeah. born in. So yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but it's also because you had the retail. Everybody yes. knew you. Yes, I still have they people see. will see me out and about, you know, and I haven't worked at that specific place for a while now. Yeah, and they still like you look really familiar. And I'm like, yeah, I used to ring up your groceries for you, you know? So I actually got a a Facebook message from someone saying, are you still there? I haven't seen you in a while. And I said, no, I moved over, you know, to another retail job. That's funny. Yeah. They just keep going there. Like what? Oh man, she just, she must be off. Yeah. I must be missing her every (laughs) four years. No. Cause we were there like 13 hours a day. Oh yeah, definitely. So, All right, so let's talk second shift. Oh, so you do the clopin, right? It's the worst. My shifts were always 1 to 11 and then yes. get back by 7, yes. right? Yes. And second shift, you'd get so mad at them, right? Because you would yes. think they did nothing. Yes. Why does every shift blame the other it, shift? It is. It's a vicious <laughs> cycle where third shift didn't do their job. So now first shift has to clean up after them. Yeah. 
And then first shift doesn't get their stuff done. So second shift comes in and has to clean up after them. Especially, I don't know if you guys have ever worked at a 24 hour place, but that was a constant yep. battle. Yep. Constant. <clears throat> So thankfully I didn't have to work too many overnights there only yeah. a couple times. I did for a couple weeks. I had to fill in for somebody. Ugh. Man, is it tough? I'd throw up. Yep. Nope. <laughs> it was so tough to do that. I would show up. I'd be like, Shh, I got this. This is easy. Oh, yeah. And then About like everyone would clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You start seeing ghosts in the back room. What was that? I'm hearing voices. <laughs> Things are ringing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't know how you guys do it, but no. full respect for the overnighters. Yes, that's for sure. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to say to everybody listening right now, if you are any sort of essential worker, bless your heart. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's been a rough year. Heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Lots yeah. of hours put in. Yes. You know, just minimum front pay. line. Yeah. <laughs> minimum pay. <laughs> we were used to the minimum pay, but then, you know, risking our lives for it. Great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> We appreciate you. <laughs> Let's have a pizza party. Oh, did that stir up a memory? Oh, you guys are so great. You did. You had such a great quarter. Here's some pizza. Yeah. Show me the money, man. Yeah. yeah. Is there money on the pizza? Yeah. yeah. That's like PTSD. I don't even like pizza anymore. <laughs> we don't eat pizza ever when no. we get together. No, no. No, it's tacos. Yeah, it's not tacos. We gotta have tacos. Yeah. We never so got no tacos. So no one's probably worked at a taco place because we can always have tacos when we're yes. all together. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I was in the restaurant business for a while, so I do have horror stories about that, but that's not what this is about. So we won't so get when into you, that. So when you were in the restaurant business, did you do clopins too, or was it oh, all? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. You would close Friday night fish fry. Oh, you would yes. open Saturday morning breakfast, for breakfast yes. and you'd go out and party all night. <laughs> and then you'd come in Sunday morning for breakfast, oh, you know? Yeah, that's and a long then weekend. You were dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would hope for Monday to be off, yes. but then they would call you yes. in. You'd do it all over exactly. again. Exactly. Yep. Because somebody got the brew flu. <laughs> so then you had to come in, <laughs> work another shift, filling tartar sauces. That was my favorite. <laughs> Rolling silverware. That's the I'm, best. I never worked in the food industry. Oh, good yeah. for you. Once again, full respect. Yes. Good I'm for always you. nice to people. Yes. Well, always nice you know to what? people, no matter and what restaurant. Hopefully, or... I'm sure, I'm sure in the future here, we will have an episode called Karen's. Yeah. 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 We are not Karen's because we've worked in customer yeah. service and we understand what it's like to be treated like a piece of crap, basically. Yeah. Yep. So I tell everyone work retail one month. Yep. Just do it for one yep. month. No. You will they absolutely understand. Yeah. No. Yeah, they couldn't handle it. Most and, people and then they can't would, handle yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, I would think they would understand kind. more. Either you're special in the head or special in the heart to work yeah. retail. I'd like to say that we're special in the heart. <laughs> Well, actually, we, we need to... No, yeah, definitely yeah. special in the heart. <laughs> so, Meredith, tell everyone how you came up with this awesome podcast idea. Yes. Because I've listened to podcasts for years. You know, Crime podcasts, stories, we you know, always uplifting make fun of your, ones. Yeah. Your murder podcasts. Yeah, when I get stuck to. by the trains all yeah. the time, I'm always yeah. listening to something. So I thought, you know what? Let's talk funny. Let's talk shop. Yeah. Let's talk retail. So hopefully future episodes we'll have a couple guests that wanna absolutely some of their crazy oh, stories. Oh, it'll be so fun. A lot of people that I've told. Yeah. I've, you know, they said, well, if you ever need a guest, I have some funny stories. So we'll just have to do a funny story, you know, customer yes. service, grocery, perishables, whatever. Yes. We'll we'll talk all that funny stuff. So. Everyone wants to be on this show. Yeah. It's been a year in the making. A lot of messages back and forth and just real fun ideas. So <laughs> I'm pretty good. excited about Me it. Me too. All right. Back to Clopins now. Yes. So how are they created? You have 200 plus people on the grocery side or how many how many cashiers are there we usually? Had literally or? like 87 cashiers. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. To cover so, three and of course shifts. you have, you know, less leadership, right? You 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 have uh one or two, three leaders for yeah. the front end or for the grocery side, but somehow someone always gets stuck with the clopins. And one bad apple can make your life a living hell. That's, that's true. Sure. Someone that doesn't want to do clopins or, you know, is uh maybe even someone that's doesn't um, like you. your leader and yeah. yeah, you never know, right? You yeah. never we all have them. We all have them. Let's just admit it. Yes. It's always Yes. But so yeah, you get that one bad leader that decides, eh, I'm going to give them an eight hour break between shifts. They can handle it. Yeah. You know, you have the nice ones that would ask you like, oh, hey, I'm really sorry, but yeah. can you cover this? And you'd be like, oh, you know. Yeah, no, I never had that conversation. No? I always would just look at my schedule and be like, oh, cool. Two clopins this week. 
<laughs> I open, my butt will be dragging. Open, close, open, and close. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have no life. I have no life. Oh, that's and by right. the way, that's Thursday through Monday. So, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. No weekend life. No. no. I got really used to going to the bank and all that kind of stuff on Tuesdays. It was kind of nice. Mm-hmm. You know, now we work a job Monday through Friday. Yeah. Yep. It's still retail related, but, yep. you know, it's, it's, it's better. Four years ago when I moved over to this job, knowing that I was going to have nights and weekends free and holidays free, I thought, what? I, it took me the first year to, to actually like get used to it. You know, I'd be like, I'd be up early Saturday morning. All right, let's go to work. Yes. Wait, no, not till Monday. Yes. It's, it's, it's weird now. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, me and Meredith used to work together and now we work together again. So she with a few she, other friends yes. that we just kind of keep, you know, yes. taking she, over the world. She took me to the other side, which I I'm very thankful for. Mm-hmm. But um, I recently requested some time off and you denied it. And I thought, oh, my God, why did she deny it? And Meredith calls me and says, well, you have requested Saturday, Saturday and, and Sunday. Sunday. And I said, I need those days, too. And she goes, you're already off those days. Holy yep. smokes. Yep. My mind was blown. We escaped the retail yeah. schedule. Yeah. yeah. That mm-hmm. that was all worth it right there. Nights yeah. and weekends off. I don't care. I'd take a I'd take a five dollar pay cut for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you have those few coworkers that mm. they're always by your side. Oh yeah. Those are the ones that get you through the clopins. Mm-hmm. But then you have those other coworkers, you know, you got the always late. Yeah. The always calling off. Yeah. Running to the time clock. Yes. <laughs> Watching the clock. I have to go to the bathroom every 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then why didn't you stay home if it's that bad? (laughs) It's never that bad. Those were the people that made the Clopins just unbearable. So you had your tribe, I called it. Mm -hmm. That's my tribe. It's people who got me through it. Yeah. I'm a smoker. They take me out on smoke breaks. Have a smoke cast. Okay. (laughs) Let's go smoke. Oh, I hate that person. You know, of course, I had the few people that wouldn't show up, and oh yeah, you'd you'd hire them, and then you'd be like, oh, are they gonna show up? And they never do, so you don't even like have the relationship with them. You but get that at any job, I think. Yeah, so maybe more in retail. I would definitely think there's a revolving door in retail because we get pretty desperate. So, but you we'll know what? You get anybody. that group. You know, you get your core yeah. people, and I'm just talking in one department. Of course, there's more in all the other departments, but you just get those people that show up no matter what, even right. if they're sick. Darn them. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, get now. Me sick. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. Don't do don't that now. Dare. Yeah. Stay home now. But, you know, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Two uh, years ago, nobody cared if you were sick. Yeah, exactly. I don't care Show if you're sick. You better get here now. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, yeah, I, I have to say that I had such a great team. Well, you know? you know, and it was all those people that you met that day that you were checking out and said, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Are yeah. you guys hiring? And then. I and mean, it was because I saw that we can they were all in, the same. Yeah, we can walk in there today and still and see. And it's still, yep. Quite a few of those people. I walk in and I I, I hear people say, when are you coming back? I'm like, yeah. I'm, running, <laughs> I'm running out of here. I'm just grabbing some milk. People ask me that too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> no, thanks. Then I get asked a lot, or, or are you hiring where you're working now? Absolutely not. No. No, I sorry. can't give you my secret. Yeah. Sorry. Nope. I didn't like you when I worked here. <laughs> Terrible. I'm not getting you a job where I work now. <laughs> anyway, so got myself up at 5.30 a.m. to go start at 7 a.m. And nope. <laughs> That's Long the shift. absolute worst. Especially if you go in on your day off. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I because, have seen it happen. Yeah. Days don't really mean anything once you work retail. So... Oh, I don't know if it was at where we worked or not, but if you, or if it was at the place I worked at before, but if you swipe, swiped your badge and you weren't on the schedule, it would tell you you're not on the schedule. Oh, oh no. <laughs> where we worked at together. Okay. All right. That It would just let you clock in. <laughs> they were like, oh, good. Okay. You're here. We'll find something for you to do. <laughs> yeah. Great. I can work 24 hours today, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Days don't really matter in retail. Yeah. That's nothing. Gosh, that's the worst worst feeling. Because you could have slept in. I know people can relate. For sure. Let us know on Instagram if you can. uh, The Clopin Effect of Retail Podcast is on Instagram. Let us know if you can relate to that. I know there's other people out there. We cannot be the only ones that read our schedules wrong. No. I want to hear about it. Especially when it fluctuates so much, right? Oh, definitely. You don't, you don't, you wake up in the morning and you go, what day is it? 
What yeah. time do I work? Am I late? Am I early? I have no idea. And this could just be me always a worrier, but I would take a picture of the schedule, you know, take three pictures of the schedule because they would change it on you. And then every day or before I would go to sleep, I'd check, okay, am I opening? Yes. Am I am I second shift? Am I, you know, and then yes. they'd throw a couple third shifts in on you and then you'll forget it. People would say, what, what time do you work on Thursday? I'd be like, I don't even know what day it is today. <laughs> <laughs> I, if tomorrow is Thursday, I will know before I go to bed. Yeah, exactly. When I check my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> what time do Surprise! I have to, you know, I don't know. Don't ask me so many questions about words that have to do with days. <laughs> my life is not, no. Oh, man, I just always remember if I had opened after those clopens, you know, it closed and you, know, you, you can't settle down. Right. So you work till 11, you get home, you want to watch. Well, now it's TikTok, right? Or, oh, gosh. Yeah. It's taken over my Let's life. <laughs> TikTok 2020 has taken over my life. Anyways. So you, you got to settle down, right? You either have to have a snack yes. or, you know, some people have a beer, whatever. And then you got to watch some shows. Well, by that time, it's 2 a.m. Yes. And you have to be up at five. Yeah. And you have to be up at five yeah. to go start your shift. Oh, you're a zombie that next day. Yes. It, you're a zombie. You know, it's the crazy. first couple of hours, like sometimes I felt like, oh, if I only get three or four hours, like I'm actually really productive. Yeah. That was, I was lying to myself. Yeah. I would yeah. be productive for the first 20 minutes I was there. And then I just drank coffee and any oh, energy yeah. drinks oh, my the rest gosh. of the day. Yeah. yeah. So much coffee for no. me. So yeah. much. I don't do the energy drinks, but holy cow, do I do the coffee. So I'm laughing at us right now because we were just <laughs> at a store. Was it Tuesday that I oh, see? Oh my God. Don't ask me and what day And we're in was. the middle of produce. <laughs> Chat, 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 and this happens, and this happens, and this happens, and that customer came up to us and said, "All right, I looped the store. <laughs> I've been here for an hour. I've been here for an hour, loops, and you girls are still here talking. <laughs> and here I got this microphone in front of me, and I can't think of shit to say. <laughs> then we go then out we to go the outside. parking lot. <laughs> we went out to the parking lot, and uh, with this jeep or what? What was yeah, yeah it was some something? Kind of jeep. Just started." Very fast backing up to us. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, what you're is like, going watch on? out, watch out. What's watch this out. guy doing? He rolls down his window. The same guy he goes, now nah, you took it out to the parking lot. He's like, I hope you're getting closer to home. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's only 10 a.m. <laughs> we got lots of hours still to yeah. work. But it's so funny because you put this microphone in front of me and I'm like, what? I don't know what to say. I don't know what um, to say. <laughs> I don't know. We had no problem chatting on Tuesday yeah. when the customer saw us. That's yeah. funny. Oh, man. It'll get easier. It's funny, you know, you work at a store, no matter what you do, whether you're a vendor or, you know, a, a team member there or whatever, and everybody, all the customers think you work there no matter what. You know? Oh my gosh. I actually, I'll be on my day off. You know, I'll be at a store walking through and I must just look like I know what I'm doing. I have people that come up to me and say, hey, can you tell me where ketchup is? Yep. I'm like, I don't work here, but I can help you. Hold on my a second. My grandma said we must smell of retail. Yeah, right. It's a stank you never lose, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe because I make eye contact with people. You know, I'm just so used to saying, hi, good morning. Good yep, because we're friendly. You know, have a yep. good day. You know, and so they just walk up to you. I'd ha I can't tell you how many times that happens to me. Yeah, same. I don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. I don't now know. I don't work there, so I just give them a dirty look. Yeah, and for me, it doesn't matter. I have a local you know, grocery store that I go to here that I've never worked at before. I only visit there. Yeah. And someone will walk up to me and say, hey, can you tell me where the eggs are? I'm like, yep. uh, well, down over there, I think. Probably because I see you there every week. Oh, yeah, and stuff. what do I do? Uh, you know, I don't know where they're at, but let's find someone that knows. Let's or see. here, I'll just show you. <laughs> Let me just show you. I think it's aisle 42. <laughs> That's a big store. <laughs> just kidding. They don't have an aisle 42. <laughs> Just get away from me, please. I'm trying to shop for my family. Just leave me alone. I don't work retail anymore. <laughs> or better known as the reek of retail <laughs> is what we have. Oh, I hate to bring up, you know, coronavirus and COVID and stuff, but I swear and people smells. think <laughs> people think that just because you're wearing masks, you can't smell their farts. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, we smell it. <laughs> Stop doing that to us. Yeah. No. Um, I think some people, it doesn't even matter about the masks. I think they were that way always. Oh, gosh. There's really some just... dirty people out there. Yeah. A lot of times they, they bring in those reusable bags and they're just covered in cat hair oh, and yeah. cat pee. And it's mm -hmm. like. Well, I've heard that you can't, you get used to the smell of that. Oh, I'm sure. I've heard from owners that you can't smell that on yourself. It's almost like when you wear a perfume that you can't smell, but other people can smell. You're like, oh, really? It's still, I still smell this afternoon. Oh, really? So I it think smells it's like cat pee. <laughs> <laughs> parfum, parfum de cat pee or whatever. I'm not French, so I have no idea. Someone help me out there. <laughs> I don't know. 
yeah, I would just see the bags start coming. I'm like, oh man, you know, you'd go to shake them out and it'd be hair everywhere. Yeah. And so At least now we're free to walk around. Yeah. When yeah, you yeah, were a yeah. cashier, you were literally stuck there yeah. to smell them. Mm -hmm. And how about like you're cashiering, so you're facing one way, but there's people checking out behind you and yeah. they fart behind you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're like, what the hell is that smell? And you turn around and you're just like, oh, forget thanks, it. dude. Why and so I'm rude. stuck in this little two foot area, you know? <laughs> Now people are going to think it was me. Okay, so let's just talk about how now they're all enclosed. You know, the Oh, Mexican my has. God. Now what do you do? Oh, you my God. I could it. not imagine. Oh, At least we had free space when we were cashiers. When I didn't know this podcast was going to bring so much PTSD. Seriously. <laughs> I know. I know. Here we are. And here we are. This is the reason why we're doing it. No. Yeah. They're enclosed in there. Oh, man. With the stench. Yeah. Oh, with gosh. the reek of retail all around All right. So listen them. up. If you use... Recyclable bags, right? Wash them. Called wash them. Wash them. Wash them. Yeah. Wipe them out if they're plastic. Yeah. Throw them in the laundry mm -hmm. if they're fabric. My yeah, God, I'm all people. about the save the planet and stuff. But, yes. You know, use a little water and soap. And, yes. Yep. Yep. Please wash and your don't reusable eat bags. beans before shopping. The people Stop. working at the <laughs> store beans. <laughs> Too many tacos. Do it. No, wait. No, no. We like oh. tacos. <laughs> we like tacos. They don't give us farts. Never. <laughs> no, ever. <laughs> Can I go to Taco Bell later? <laughs> <laughs> Not Taco Bell. It's the worst. <laughs> I feel it for like three days. Oh, that's awesome. You got to go for the real stuff. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, re <laughs> the real stuff. There was uh, a couple coworkers that got oh. terminated. Because they were doing the dirty. <laughs> I thought you were going to say because they smelled. <laughs> they probably you did. That's probably attention. how they got caught. <laughs> Somebody smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, they both get let go. And uh, <clears throat> they were both managers, whatever. They didn't work at our store. Um, at this time, I had moved out to the gas station of mm. the store that I worked at. It had a connecting gas station. And I was the manager out there, and I had this really awesome Frito-Lay vendor, and his name was Ray. Frito Ray, <laughs> if you're out there, hello, I miss you. Uh. Anyways, he was the best vendor, you know? Like, because sometimes you get these really grumpy Frito vendors Ray. come in, and they're like, I hate my job, and I don't want to stack up the 12 packs, and it's like, it's your mm -hmm. job, do it, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. So anyways, um, all of a sudden, Frito Ray disappears, and uh. and, and here comes this this certain coworker that had gotten terminated for doing the dirty with another Ooh. coworker. And mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing here? You know, like how dare you take Frito Ray's job? <laughs> you do not deserve Frito Ray's job. No way. No, I was devastated. <laughs> oh, terrible. Gosh, that's terrible. No, was his name really Ray? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if he was like, no one's ever called me that before. <laughs> you were like, well, why? Cause my name is Bill. <laughs> Okay, so it was no, truly Ray. His, his right. name was Ray. Oh, okay. Yeah, I came up with the Frito Ray. That's very He said clever. nobody ever called him that before. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I questioned it. Like, nobody's ever called you Frito <laughs> Ray? And he's like, no. And I was like, Ray's your name, right? <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, what the hell? Aw, I wonder what he's doing now. I think he's still working for Frito. Yeah. Yeah. He just got put on a different route. Mm-hmm. Holy cow, we talked about a lot of stuff today. Yes, we did. Uh, it was fun. I mean, this is just the intro anyways, just right. to kind of get people to laugh with us a little bit and see right. what we're about and talk about us. because Get more good. people to understand what a clopin is. Yeah, for sure. For sure. In case you I ever think overheard people that. talking yeah. about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a clopin set. Not a clopin set. No. No, thanks. That was, that was too, too confusing. much yeah. scientific stuff for no, me. No, we don't know that. No, not in retail. No. So. Episode one is over. Complete. Complete. Ah, congratulations. We did it. <laughs> We're Woo! doing this. We're going to go a real long way on this. We are. I am so excited. I'm excited. Man, I it's like a dream. <laughs> it's been a dream. 2020 was shit. It was. But this came out of it, and I'm so excited yes. to keep sharing our stories. Yes. And this is just going to be amazing. Share our shit. Yeah. So we have a page. <laughs> Share our shit. Instagram. Yes. The Clopin Effect. Yes. Facebook. Yes. TikTok. Yes. And that's it. Well, we have an email too. All three of them are the underscore Clopin underscore effect. Yep. At Facebook, at, at TikTok, in, yep. at Instagram. Absolutely. Share our shit. 
Thank you so much for listening. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.